Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Today's project is going to be using old photographs. To start with, we need to do a little bit of prep. It's very, very simple prep. It is simply taking some book pages. I've got money converter, some Russian dictionary pages, and I've got music score somewhere as well. So I'll get some of that out. Tear these into chunky pieces, along with the photos, stain everything with a bit of vintage photo. And then when all the prep is done, including some scraps, we will put this project together. Everything's been stained pretty grungy. We're just going to take a photo and build a cluster around this. I was asked in group earlier about old music paper so I will try to use some old music paper as part of a cluster as well just to show what you can do and here's one of those numbers and sometimes we are going to with a cluster end up taking bits and pieces off so for example this one i'm trying to keep these ones quite straight it's going to come off as soon as we take something off we are going to need to stain the new edge so we've got numbers we've got music i think that could come off there let's get this glued down that's fading into the background a bit so i want something behind it that's a little bit lighter that's going to help it stand out. Have some craft card or some coffee stained paper would do. You don't need to use card. Then you're looking for a word or a label of some sort. We have live every day with intention. We could do that over two lines. Doesn't need to be straight. You've got a little bit of the circus theme here. You could run some of that down to bring in those circus colours. Nothing has to be neat about this. So you could end up with quite a large cluster effect going on. I might want something behind that now. I do have a little star one that might work better. Yeah, we can do that. It's getting bigger and bigger, but this is a page decoration, basically. There's a whole piece of music and I quite like that. This is some needlework fabric. I think it's for embroidery, I'm not sure, but I got it from Amazon. What I'm going to do is because I don't have a sewing machine, I'm going to take some of this fabric, which has holes in it, cut a strip. Now I wonder if it will fray or whether I need to go over it with my thinning scissors. These are really difficult to cut with. I'm hoping they'll cut into this and cause some fraying and just chew up this edge a bit. And then what I wanted to do, and it doesn't have to be an edge, it can be anywhere you want to put it, is put a bit of material down that's frayed, both sides probably and sew it on. Using my Fabri-Tac glue, I'm going to glue it down and I'm going to throw it down around there. We have a problem. This page didn't record. Therefore, I've got this ready to do something similar on a, another page. I'm going to do a smaller one because obviously it is going to go into this journal, so I don't want to repeat everything I've already done. I've only glued it down that edge because I want a non-glued edge to be able to sew along. Then taking a embroidery needle, a blunt end, I use those normally for sewing in signatures and some thread. It doesn't matter what stitch you do here, you can do something messy, you can do a zigzag, entirely up to you. You can pre-poke the holes that you want to go through. It gives the effect that we're looking for. So you now have a stitched bit of material, you've got a number, you've got a bit of a different background. Within our journal pages, which I vaguely put together, these may not be the final order. We just want to find somewhere where we want to put this. If we put someone here, you've still got some writing space on this bit. Let's just see if there's a better page for this. I think that works quite well. 
with the stripy background i'm going to go with this one you don't have to put it on straight you can do it at an angle if you think this stands out too much against the background white gesso which will knock a bit off we just want a dry brush dry brush those edges in across that background and across the design and when that's dry we will stain it a bit more stain this one where it's been gessoed with a bit of white and see if we can get that to merge in with that background so it all becomes one big piece that's another page decoration done let's get another picture see what else we can do i'm trying to get a different look on each one so i threaded it with red this time let's do a plain piece behind this one this is just some amazon packaging maybe we should do something irregular and actually and to tear it now add this one to this one i do actually have a piece of this I put this behind because i'm gluing onto grease proof paper or kitchen paper or parchment paper I'm not sure it depends where you are as to what you call it i'm using fabri tac rather than the glue stick I have some scratty bits of cloth here we'll let that dry off and then we'll poke some holes through this and add some stitching let's use the board and this properly and poke some holes through this so that you can put some stitches in you could use the holes that are in the material to evenly space things but i'm not too worried about that because it's a grungy journal it's in red so it looks a bit like a oh, what's it called a heart monitor they don't have to be just page decorations you can make them journaling cards as well it's entirely up to you I'll put that opposite that one that makes quite a nice grouping i think first of all i need a photo we could maybe do a bit of napkin over the background i have a bit of napkin samantha sent me in happy mail she sent me a lot of napkins if you saw that Hall used this one in her May Carnival Fairground journal and I like the look of it so I'm going to use the same one to back this paper put the napkin over and then Mod Podge over the top gently this is now dry so we can put the clown picture on top just wondering about whether it needs stains somewhere as well might do is glue this in place and then stitch it i'm going to put a frame around this one because i've got ideas for other pages this is nice and simple to do i've already got the gold frame i'm going to put that on i'm going to do it at an angle we have this page i think this time i'm going to get some coffee stained paper i'll add it to this one i like that contrast I have some coffee stained paper here put it on a slight angle with this one put that in the corner of the blue paper eventually fold it cut upwards into that center crease we create a little flag to go in that corner it's just a cute little detail bit of extra this one i need the board out again because i want to put some holes in it do you want to use red i mean red's going to clash with all of that lot isn't it let's find another color let me just see if i can do crosses pulled some threads here oh actually i don't mind that because remember what i said about doing some messy stitches okay let's let's stay messy that's cool lacing isn't it it's like you've laced up something put that on that corner there i cut those a little bit just to create a bit more feathering around that i wonder if i've got a tiny little number that might fit in that okay i quite like that page i think i have an idea let's get this again put together our sixth photography look i'm going to put a bit of stuff at the top here some labels and numbers and things i'm just going to cluster a few things up together overlapping bits and pieces i might need some strips of some sort 
red label there and a number there. I might not do those two, but I was thinking of doing this, doing an ink stamp anyway. I know you're not supposed to rub these. I know you're supposed to tap and I will tap as well, but I just find I get more ink on it if I, especially as it's new, if I rub and tap. Let's go up into this corner. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. We want to add some stitching to this one then. I suppose what we could do is just come straight down from that design and do a line of stitching. Not a huge fan of that black print against that brown. It's a bit weird. I think what I could do is do a bit of white gesso do more black print maybe, fade it all in together like it's meant to be there. Up to that one there, I'm wondering if we should put a bit on here, a bit more. let that dry off. Very finishing touches to this and that's going to be to stain a bit up. Right, let's have a quick review of what we've done while I talk you through all the YouTube-y stuff. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help YouTube push my videos out to new people. There's now over 270 videos. I tend to upload five times a week. So it is worth you subscribing for new content on a regular. Let me know what you think of these altered photograph ideas and adding them to a journal in the comments below. And I think that was it. No, one more. And I will see you next time.